Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick video on a comparison of the the hardware, so the RAM and the CPU usage of we have Linux Mint 20 XFCE edition on the left here. And then we've got Windows 7, a very popular long-standing operating system, of course, on the right here, which really is out of its long-term service release, except for a certain instance where you can actually pay for security updates, but that's neither here nor there for this conversation. So getting into it, uh, basically, at a very lovely basic glance, we can see the following. Now, uh, <laughs> on the Windows side, this is always what terribly frustrates me. It really does push back and forth between, uh, say, a, a gigabyte and two gigabytes of RAM. Total CP usage as well, which is a bit of a shame there. On the left-hand side, we're using basically no CPU, which is really nice to see. About 480 megabytes of RAM straight off the bat. So really just boot it up from scratch. It's uh, There's nothing really else going on with these operating systems. There's nothing in the background that I've got loaded. Uh, here we go, so this is very common. Uh, restart for computer updates to occur, which is pretty interesting because it is outside of its uh, security updates time frame, which finished a couple of years ago, maybe, as long as. But uh, usually what we would expect is, so on the left, about 500 gigabytes of RAM, or megabytes of RAM straight off the box, and out the box, and then we have the Windows side, which is uh, should be more closer to 1, 1 1.2. But this is the problem with Windows, it's always doing something in the background though, so um, I guess that's probably the point of this video. So thanks for watching guys, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, all of those nice things, and thanks again, and I do hope to see you guys in the next one.